front of the net, make him work and find the ugly ones because it's going to be an ugly couple goals tonight. Uh, with just the four games here and then another break again, it's a pretty unique part of a, any sort of NHL schedule. Uh, how important is it to stay focused during this stretch, which starts tonight? Yeah, it does. These are huge games, huge four games, because during that five-day break after this, after these four games, you know, I, there's going to be teams playing still, so we got to find ways to win these hockey games. Uh, you know, it starts tonight. We're going to take it game by game, and and tonight's another huge game for us. Every, I guess every game from here on out is a big game for us. It doesn't matter in the standings where we are right now. We got to maintain that now. We got to find ways to keep keep doing the little things right and keep moving in the right direction. And I think we have the guys in here that can do it. Pretty good team you're facing tonight, I guess. Just what are your thoughts on Minnesota? What are you gonna do against them? Yeah, uh, like I just told them. Yeah, they're they're one of the lowest few goals against team in the league. Uh, we got to find ways to get traffic in front of goalie. Dude, Nick's been, you know, he's a really good goalie. So, you know, they're really good defensively. So. It's going to be a couple ugly goals tonight, and we got to find ways to get after him, get big net presence, get our big bodies in front of the net, and throw pucks at his feet, and hopefully, you know, good things happen. Uh, have you had a chance to kind of, I know you took it in the weekend and lived it, but when you have a chance to maybe think about just everything that happened, what you, how you felt about it? Yeah, I mean, nothing really changed. It's still uh, obviously a very, very fun event. Had a lot of, a lot of good times. Um, you know, definitely special to, to share it with you know, all the 100, 100 top players of all time and, and um, you know, all the stars of the game. So um, definitely a fun time. Is it at all possible to pick out a couple of highlights or just from the time you got there to the time you left is a highlight? All of it. It went by so fast it felt like um, you know, the skills competition was a lot of fun and obviously the, the actual All-Star game itself is, is fun and um, you know, just getting a chance to, to hang out with some of the guys and get to know them a little bit better is a good time as well. Just coming back here, can you just get thought of just keeping this ball rolling now and you got... You got four games before, you, before you have another break, but just to get off those on the right foot back. Here. Yeah, we, we've been we've been playing some good hockey, and um, you know, definitely felt good about ourselves heading into the All Star break. But uh, you know, we start back uh, with a huge test against Minnesota. I mean, they play such a hard nosed game, and um, you know, have been so successful playing that defensive minded hockey, and um, you know, it's, it's going to be a tough one for us. You don't give up much, so this is a team where you got to get some of those dirty goals around. 100 percent, yeah. You got to get trapped in front of their net. Um, you know, shoot everything you get because you're not going to get a lot of shots. Um, you know, they, like you said, they don't give up much. No out, no outnumbered rushes and, and that kind of thing. So, you know, whatever we do get, uh, we're going to have to generate ourselves. Did you kind of think of the celebrity aspect of? I don't know, you know, who you met and if you got to talk to anyone or whether it was, again, just everything happens. With yeah, the celebrity aspect was a lot of fun. Um, you know, getting a chance to play on the line with uh, Justin Bieber was pretty funny and, um, you know, definitely a, a cool experience. And um, there was definitely a lot of uh, a lot of cool people walking around that weekend. What do you think of it?
matchups, but uh, even you know going back to teams of Washington, I thought they defended well. Uh, you know they had the high offense with with Semin and Ovechkin, those guys going. But uh, these teams always seem to do something exceptionally well uh, to get them to where they are. And how much does it help with the two convincing victories you guys had pre-break against good teams? starting off against another good team here right away? Yeah, I think it's given us a little bit of confidence, but we know uh, this is probably a different animal. Uh, it's just another really good team. Uh, and it's, it's very difficult to run the table against all, all the elite teams in this league. Uh, we're going to have to reset. It's a team that probably defends even better than the last two we played. Uh, in my opinion, it's probably the best team in the league. So uh, we're going to have to be sharp. Uh, everybody's got to be ready. Special teams got to be going. Uh, it's going to take a lot to beat these guys. Thanks. Yep.
Todd, good morning. Good morning. Play in Minnesota. I, two previous meetings with them went to overtime, which I know hasn't been new for you guys since the start of December. But just can you tell me what, uh, why the previous games have been so tight against them and what you expect tonight? Well, they don't, they don't give up much. They score a lot. One of the best teams in the league. Like, I don't know any other way to explain it. Um, we've been fortunate enough to, uh, to come back against them a couple times and push it to overtime. We'd like to have a better start, be on our toes a little bit more. But they are uh, their premier team in the league right now. Um, their record is phenomenal from the time they started here, I think, in, in December till, to this point. Um, they're productive from all positions, goaltender, D, forwards. Uh, the depth shows up night in and night out. Um, you know, based on that description, they're a deep playoff team, and it'll be a big challenge for us. Just, I apologize if you said this on the on the road, but I don't remember hearing it. Was there an update on Juju Arcara? Uh He is still. Uh, he will remain out for a while. Um, he won't play uh, in these next four games prior to our five-day break, and then we'll see where he is after that. Todd, is this team with Bruce right now pretty similar to the teams he coached in Anaheim and Washington that you would have coached against, or is there something different about this team? No, there's, there's a lot of similarities. Um, you know, and even built the same way. Uh, a little bit of size down the middle, uh, veteran guys there in Koivu and Stahl. Um, you know, see some things similar on the penalty kill. Power play may be a little different. Uh, but that's where John comes in, I think, with, with their team. Um, confidence starts in the, in the goal with Minnesota, I'm sure, and, and goes out from there to the blue line, which they have veteran players that uh, you know, can play the game many different ways. And then, obviously, the forwards have been able to produce. So um, teams very similar to what they're doing in Anaheim or what they did do in Anaheim. Uh, it doesn't look like Dubnik will play for them tonight. Does that make a little crack in the door for you guys? Well, he certainly is one of the best in the league, but um, if you're a goaltender at, at this level, you're qualified to, to play a good game, and uh, Kemper's done that for them. He's very capable of, uh, of playing well, and their team plays so well in, in front of their goaltenders that uh, we've got our work cut out for us regardless of who's in the, in the pipes. Todd, a few of your vets said the biggest challenge coming back from that all-star break is to just get your mind and body back into it because they take three days off and try to get completely away. So as a veteran coach, how do you ensure that the guys get back into it? Do you roll your four lines early or do you notice maybe if some guys aren't going that maybe they're just not going to get as long of a leash? How does it work for you? No, we'll, we'll roll four lines. We'll get everybody up and running and, and you have to give them a little more leeway. Um, and keep in mind it's not like uh, we'll have this conversation when we play Chicago after that break and they will have played everybody's in the same boat um, all the players in the league were taxed everybody wants to get away from the game and rest and and uh, just leave leave it alone so we're all starting from scratch um, I'd like to think that our group will get up and running quickly uh, but we also have to give individuals a little more leeway to find their game um, it's not like we've been gone for an Olympic break we were gone for for three and a half days, basically, and we had a good crisp practice yesterday. We shouldn't forget everything we, we've, uh, we've worked towards, so expect a good effort from our group. Oscar Clefbaum, and you had talked about it. He had a little bit of a dip uh, in kind of November. He's come out of it. He's already got career highs and, and everything and goals and points, shots on goal and everything. What, what were the things you guys worked on with him to refine in his game, and how much of that was a focus for him to be more involved offensively and use a shot? Well, Two parts to that. His year last year was, um, you know, somewhat of a disaster when you look at the health part of it. Uh, so by December of uh, 2015 to training camp this year, he didn't play at all, and um, really just get him up and running and feeling good about being a, a National Hockey League defenseman again was the first quarter of the season. And you can see once he did that, he established himself and became a better player. Um, great vision heck of a shot, gets it off and gets it through, willing to shoot, um, not deferring to the pass all the time. So uh, he makes a difference on the back end. Good.